I'm Chris Nelson, road test editor for Automobile Magazine, and I'm here with Dave Parasek, chief engineer for Ford Mustang and the man behind the big changes for the 2015 Ford Mustang behind us. So Dave, I'm going to give you one of two options. Do you want to start under the hood or under the car? We'll go under the car. All right, under the car. New Mustang, all new platform, right? Yeah, so a lot of people think maybe it was an evolution from the existing platform, but actually there's nothing on this thing that resembles the existing platform except for the, uh, the actual um, wheelbase at 107 inches. Everything else is all new. All the sheet metal, everything, the, the uh, track width, you name it, it's all brand new for this machine. So not even a carryover part on the chassis? There might be a bolt or a nut somewhere, but no, it's all brand new. And obviously the biggest change to the platform is? IRS. Everyone wanted to know if we're doing it, we did it. Uh, so we have a world-class integral link suspension in here and uh, really allowing us to, to tie this car down, uh, get it more capable, a higher performing, but at the same time, a smoother ride, both primary and secondary. So it's been really, really fantastic. So most buyers for the Mustang probably aren't gonna notice a major change for IRS, but enthusiasts will. We all kind of are giving you praise because you had dialed in live axle pretty well. The last Mustang, good handling car. So how are you gonna keep enthusiasts happy with this new setup? Well, definitely uh, we did more with the uh, solid rear axle than most people thought we could do, but we're actually taking everything up another notch with this car. So uh, the rear suspension, uh, much more capable, as I said before, allowing us to really take the change. We've been on a trajectory with Mustang, if you notice, the last five years or so, especially with the Boss 302 and, and others, where the performance has just continued to go up. And it's going to go up even further with this one. We, are, we set a target to beat the Boss 302 on a track, and we're going to do it with this. Uh, not only is the rear suspension doing a great job for us, we had to modify the front suspension as well from the carryover. It doesn't look anything like it. A double ball joint front suspension, giving us the levers that we needed up front to match the levers that we have in the back to really get this machine to perform the way we want it to perform. So let's move to under the hood then. Uh, at launch, you're going to have two engine choices available, V6 and V8, correct? You're going to have three engine choices. And the third engine would be? The EcoBoost. The EcoBoost. So we'll touch back on that one second. The V6, what mm -hmm. are you guys doing to upgrade that for 2015? So the V6 doesn't have a ton of upgrades in the engine itself. Uh, we have a great performing V6, as you know today, 300 horsepower. Uh, been doing well for us and, and really had no reason to upgrade it for, for this model. The upgrades really come in both the adding the EcoBoost and what it does for us and then the V8 upgrade as well. And so the V8, that's going to get what? More economical, more powerful? More powerful for sure. Uh, the V8, we took a lot of learnings from the Boss 302. Uh, we're flowing the air a lot better in the engine, so we're getting more horsepower, uh, more torque. Uh, we also have uh, some technology that we put in the engine, uh, like charge motion control valves, for instance, to help us with overall fuel economy. So we're improving fuel economy and improving horsepower and torque in the V8. And so what, we could expect maybe 444 horsepower? I'm not going to quote that right now. I'm going right. to say 420 plus. Well, then let's move to the new economical engine, the 2.3 EcoBoost, which is actually the one in this car right here. Yes, it is. Uh, where is this coming from? I mean, so EcoBoost engines have been doing a great job for Ford, right? I mean, it's really the end solution for both power and fuel. Um, and what this engine is, is this is a brand new engine to the EcoBoost lineup, uh, specifically designed for the Mustang, uh, taking the EcoBoost performance even to another level. So we do, we add things like a twin scroll turbo, a steel crankshaft, a high flow um, uh, injection uh, injectors, and a high flow fuel system. So uh, doing a lot of upgrades to an EcoBoost engine to get a ton more power but still deliver on the EcoBoost promise of fuel. So is this engine coming around because this car is going to be sold globally? Is that a big reason for the EcoBoost uh, engine? I mean, it's definitely going to, I think, help in, in that. But uh, also, as we look forward to the next 50 years of Mustang, uh, we're celebrating the first 50, but now we got to look forward to the next 50. The EcoBoost engine is going to play an important role as we expand our customer base and we capture a new generation of customers that we might not have in, in, the, in the portfolio today. So, uh, you know, this is sort of the I want it all solution. I, I want the power, I want the fuel, I want to be responsible, I want, um, you know, the technology. This engine provides all of that. So what kind of characteristics can enthusiasts expect from that turbo engine? Well, they're going to, they're going to be able to expect uh, fantastic performance, great torque band, uh, you get you build the torque very quickly, and then you maintain it at a very strong level. So what they're going to be surprised about is uh, there's going to be a lot of smiles on faces when you take this car out. We're also doing a performance package, uh, EcoBoost, and that is going to have um, uh, upgraded axle. Uh, it's going to have uh, upgraded brakes. It's going to have uh, summer-only tires and other modifications to the suspension that when you take it out on the track, I'm telling you, it's just a ton of fun. So where's that turbo four going to sit in power and price? Uh, well, we're not quoting that right now. But I can assure you that it's going to be uh, positioned uh, at, at a very uh, uh, obtainable uh, place in the, in the portfolio. And the performance is going to be, like I said, very, very good. 
Okay, and now talking about power, I have to talk about high-performance Mustangs. I know you're only bringing out the 2015 now, yeah. but GT350 is somewhere around the corner. What are we going to be looking for for that? Uh, I don't know that there is a GT350 around the corner. That's you saying that. <laughs> uh, what I can say is that a lot of people ask us, are you going to do other variants of the Mustang? It's in our blood, right? We've done it throughout, throughout the years. So uh, I would say let's celebrate this one for now and then stay tuned. All right, cool. Thanks, Dave. And uh, that's it for us.